Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's question is, what is considered low vitamin D levels in a blood test? Now, if you didn't know by now or haven't heard, vitamin D is an awesome vitamin. It's a fat-soluble vitamin. In fact, technically speaking, it's not even a vitamin. It's a hormone. It's actually a steroid hormone produced by the kidneys. Thus, why it's so powerful, because it's a hormone. Unfortunately, the problem is many people are low and or deficient in this powerful vitamin hormone. So, how do you know if you have low levels of vitamin D? Well, the best and most accurate way is to actually do a blood test and measure your 25-hydroxy vitamin D test. Now, let's say you took the test and you got the results. So, what's considered low levels? Well, the range is between 0 to 100 nanograms per milliliter. Anything less than 25 and you are low. If you are in the teens, right, 12 and 13, 14, 15, so forth, you are painfully deficient. I say painfully because low D levels will cause you pain, bone pain, muscle pain, and so forth. Now, between 25 to 30, this is borderline low. It's not good. Sadly, this is where I was for many years, despite even being in the sun. Some experts say that the optimal range is between 35 to 60. I believe this is a good range for the average person. Personally, after viewing hundreds or maybe even thousands of blood tests over the years and seeing how healthy a person is, I like the levels to be between 75 to 90. I know that's high, but 75 to 90, especially if you exercise, exercise a lot, you maybe have a stressful lifestyle, you're not a good sleeper like I am, and so forth. Now, some will say anything over 90 to 100 is toxic or that's really high, but this I, there's no clinical study ever showing this. Of course, as with anything, more is not always better. After all is said and done, the optimal range, just to keep it simple, is between 35 to 75, and I like to keep it above 50 as the minimum. So keep the goal 50 and above. Now, keep in mind that you should not just go out and supplement with any vitamin D. First, it needs to be the correct form, which is vitamin D3, not the regular D or D2, which is found in most cheap supplements or multivitamins. So make sure you read the labels. Secondly, vitamin D3 works directly with another vitamin, fat-soluble vitamin called vitamin K2, and more specifically, MK7. And this helps optimize both the absorbability and the safety so you can maximize the benefits while reducing any of the negatives. Also, don't take regular K or K1 or the synthetic K3. It must be K2, again, specifically MK7. And don't worry, I'll tell you, you don't have to memorize any of this, I'll give you the solution at the end of this video. Basically, don't take either of these vitamins by themselves and only take the D3 plus K2 forms together in one pill at the same time, preferably in the morning with food or a little bit of fat. Of course, now you might be thinking, you know, so what do I take and what's the best dose and you know, what's the best combination, what's the best brand, what company do I trust? And these are important questions that I asked myself over a decade ago when I ran into all these problems. Now below this video in the description area, I've listed the best combination of D3 and K2 supplement that my own family and I take, which utilizes the correct dosage, the correct form, the ratio, and the clinically researched versions of these two vitamins. It's called Perfect Vitamin D and K. Best part is all you need to take is one pill daily and it does it all, saving you time and money, which I love. So scroll down, click the link below. Now hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with others. Subscribe if you haven't and click that notification icon. Uh, in the comments area, leave your questions and comments. Let me know what topics you want me to cover, what clarification you want about today's topic and so forth. And again, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and wishing you a very happy and healthy day.